Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I am going to share with you my current fall stash of wax. Fall vendor wax, there's some scentsy in here. Um, I was tagged by Carson to share my collection. So to be honest, I didn't think I had that much left over from last fall. But apparently I went completely overboard and didn't even get through a lot of fall wax that I bought last year. Last fall was my first fall season with vendor wax and apparently I just wanted to try all the things and I didn't get through nearly as much of my fall wax as I thought I did. So I was going through and picking out stuff. I was like, I don't even think I'm going to have a lot to share, but I'll just see what I have. And I have a lot here. So <laughs> grab a drink, grab a snack, make coffee, whatever you need to do. And um, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the scent of these just because we'll be here until midnight if I did that with every scent because I love to ramble. So I'll just kind of give like my brief thoughts if I've warmed them or just read the scent notes and, and carry on. So we will go ahead and get started. I have a few from L3 here at the top. So this is a scoop in fall vibes. This one I really like and I remember this being super strong. So this is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar shortbread and mac apple. So usually from my experience with L3, when Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is in one of her blends, it usually takes over completely. Um, and I haven't had much experience with her Mac Apple when I tried this, but this is like straight up Mac Apple. And it almost smells like a caramel apple. I don't know if it's some of the notes from the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles doing that. But this is like straight up caramel apple and you do get like a little bit of the, the waffle in the background, but this is delicious. I really enjoy this in the fall time. I want to say that this was a customer creation last year that won, but this is delicious. Super strong. I think I melted this like twice and I didn't even need to use that much. So I still have a lot left and I'm looking forward to warming this again. Next from L3, I have Oregon Autumn. So this is crisp, clean and fresh fall and leaves with a hint of rain. I've had this I think it was in a cloud cake or something when I first started buying from L3. And this is just like a gorgeous outdoor atmospheric scent. Like when you walk outside in the fall and it had just rained and there's fresh leaves on the ground. Like it's just like a beautiful, oh my God, I got wax on my nails, I'm a mess. Um, it's just like a beautiful outdoorsy fall blend, which I like to have a variety in the fall. I'm a sucker for fall bakery, but I also love earthy scents. So like if I could find myself a really nice fall outdoorsy blend, I love them. And this is definitely one of them. This is strong as well. I always have strong performance with her scoops. I don't think I've had a scoop from L3 that wasn't strong. So this is absolutely gorgeous. If you're sick of melting like the heavy, sticky fall bakery scents, I think this is something really nice to try to switch it up. Yes, this is gorgeous. So that's Oregon Autumn. <clears throat> I said I wasn't going to ramble and I already am. Um, here is Pumpkin Head. So this is one of her Bitty Betty Loaves. This was a customer creation as well from last year. I didn't even get the chance to melt this, but I really like how this smells on cold. So this Pumpkin Head is Pumpkin Firewood, Palo Santo, Malo Fireside. So to me, when you... Um, first smell this you get like a charred like bonfire scent and then the palo santo adds like a little bit of like of a dark essence to this scent and then you get a pumpkin in the background so primarily to me this is like a fall bonfire type scent you don't get as much pumpkin as I hoped you would but then again I haven't warmed this so it might change when you warm it so I really do like this one too Next is one of the first scents from L3 that I fell in love with and I've been holding on to the rest of this loaf because I want to grab another one for this fall time. This is amazing. This is Pyramid Head. So Pyramid Head is toasty, warm bonfire, hay bales, and pine trees. So <clears throat> these are both like bonfire type scents. 
but with pyramid head you just get a gorgeous gorgeous tree note in the background oh my god it is so beautiful so pyramid head is like you're at or around a campfire that may be in the distance but you're in the middle of the forest so this is very heavy on the pine trees very heavy on the woody notes and i'm guessing the the hay bales kind of gives me more of like a a tree-esque type of note to this i think the hay bales and the pine trees play really well together and then you get like a like a bonfire in in the distance like maybe like a bonfire like i don't know like 300 500 feet away from you but primarily this is like a beautiful you get a crisp like fall air in this and then you get the pine trees and the hay bales and you get the backy the backy <laughs> the background of like the smoky bonfire this is stunning i love this so much to me this is a very cozy and comforting fall scent i went through pretty much this whole loaf in the cut like the early months of fall and i wanted to save this for this year so i could have some for this fall season um, so I'm looking forward to buying more of this. I also think this is really nice to warm on like a chilly summer night. So like August, like late August when fall is about to start. Um, I think this is beautiful. So that's Pyramid Head. I also have to double bag this one because it's so freaking strong that if you put it next to like a lighter scent, it starts to wear off onto it. So um, yeah, so this one's very strong. Highly recommend if you like outdoorsy bonfire type scents, you will love Pyramid Head. Guarantee it. Next, I have a couple from Super Tarts. This is creamed corn. So this is pumpkin, creme brulee, toasted marshmallow, and cornbread. I haven't warmed this one yet, but it primarily is like a creamy cornbread scent. You get, a, you get a little bit of the creaminess addition from the marshmallow, and then you get like a little bit of pumpkin spice in here. This is nice. I don't think it's anything that I necessarily would want to buy again unless it completely like blew me away on warm, but it's really nice for fall. Next, I have Boo from Super Tarts. I believe this was Casper at one point before she changed all of her names. This is Toasted Marshmallow Vanilla Bean cornbread and Mexican fried ice cream. So again, just like another warm, sweet cornbread scent. This one I really like. I had multiple clams of this and I'm down to my last one. So I will definitely enjoy this this fall. I have some from Teddy Bees here. I'm not necessarily trying to go in order, but this is just the order that I pulled everything. So I guess that's just the way it's gonna go. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get myself organized so I'm not as much of a hot mess. First, I have a loaf and weekend with Papa. This was from her most recent pre-order. So weekend with Papa is salty sea air, vanilla bean Noel, toasted marshmallows, blended with roasted pine cones. So her salty sea air, vanilla bean Noel, and toasted marshmallows is her Sadie blend. And then with addition of the roasted pine cones, it makes weekend with Papa. So Weekend with Papa to me is you mainly get a, like a creamy salty sea air and then you get the, you get a nice whiff of the roasted pine cone. Yes, it's a beautiful combination of salty sea air and pine cone. I really like this. I also would warm this throughout the summertime, but to me, when I hear pine cone, it just, you know, I just automatically think of fall. So I'm really gonna enjoy this. I also have a souffle, I think, of this as well. So I'll have plenty for this fall and late summer. That one's beautiful. I haven't warmed it yet, but from what I hear, people's warm reviews, it does really well on warm. So I'm looking forward to that. Next, I have Bonfire Nights. So if you couldn't tell from just this video alone or watching me, I love a bonfire tree type scent. To me, they're just beautiful i love blending them with like a bakery or something you could really like blend these and make them something different if you're not into like the strong earthy bonfire scents you could always blend these with like a marshmallow roasted pine cone anything vanilla and make whatever you like out of it graham cracker cookies so i really enjoy bonfire scents i think they have a lot of versatility so anyway 
Bonfire Nights is Bonfires, Cashmere, Vanilla, Sandalwood, and Roasted Marshmallow. So, to me, this is a bonfire and you get like the, the added sweetness from, <clears throat> it's more of a sandalwood that I'm picking up than a toasted marshmallow. So I think the sandalwood is really rounding this out and doesn't make it as smoky, but this is really beautiful. I haven't warmed this yet. I'm letting it cure, but I'm looking forward to seeing if the toasted marshmallow comes out on this once you warm it up. Next I have Witches Be Crazy for Apple Spice. So this is her Witches Be Crazy blend with apple spice. So birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla, which is which is be crazy, and then it's blended with crisp apples, brown sugar, cinnamon, and a buttered crust background. This to me is like a perfect traditional fall scent. I really do love this on cold sniff and I can't wait to warm this. I do typically give my teddy bees about like four or five months to cure, but sometimes things just happen to sit longer because of how much I have. But I love Witches Be Crazy, and I know this is gonna be gorgeous. Next, I have Cinnamon Pretzel Cookie Cake. So this is soft pretzels covered in cinnamon and sugar, white cake, sugar cookies, and bakery dough. To me, this can be either fall or winter, but when, primarily when I hear like anything with cinnamon sugar, to me, I just think fall. Um, to me, those are just full spices, but really you can blend this anytime, uh, blend it. You can warm this anytime you want, but to me, first and foremost, when I hear this blend, I think fall. And this is just a warm, fresh baked pretzel with cinnamon sugar drizzle on top, like you get from Annie Ann's. I absolutely love this. It performs really well. This is actually the second tub that I have of this, so I was saving it for this fall. Next from Teddy Bees, I have Khaleesi. So this is Palo Santo, Tonka Bean, Oud Wood, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Fireside. So again, another nice creamy, smoky Fireside scent. This one makes your house just feel so cozy and comforting. I love this. And I believe this is my last Teddy Bees one is Oak Cider in Woods. So this is Warm Mold Cider cedar, oak, vanilla, toasted marshmallow, pine cones, and smoked woods. So this is a very beautiful apple cider blend and then you get the pine cones and the um, smoked woods in the background. But first and foremost, when you warm it too, what comes out is the apple cider and then you get a little bit of woodiness in the background from that. All right, that's it with Teddy Bees. We will move on to the couple of Scentsy that I have. I don't have many, but this is what I have so far. I know I've mentioned this before. This is Cedar Cider. I don't have notes. Um, I knew this video was gonna be long enough. <laughs> I also haven't warm Cedar Cider, but this is a beautiful apple cider scent. And then you get the tree in the background. I believe I mentioned this in one of my club hauls, but to me, this is the same if not very, very similar apple cider note that Teddy Bees has, um, or the apple note in particular, like the apple in this, when I smell this, smells very, very similar, if not the exact same apple that's in I Heart Vanilla Spice Apples, and the same apple to me that is in Bath and Body Works' Tis the Season Holiday Candle. And I absolutely love both of those. Um, Tis the Season is one of my favorite candles ever, so, when I first got this and smelled this, I automatically added it to my club just because I knew I'd really love it. So that is Cedar Cider. I'm hoping this one comes back this year, but like I said, I added it to my club anyway, so. Cinnamon Pine Cones from Scentsy. This is beautiful. I mean, this could lean winter as well, but like I mentioned, when I hear anything with pine cones and like cinnamon, cinnamon sugar, I just think of fall as well. So pretty self-explanatory. I haven't warmed this yet, but I really do like the way it smells on cold. I think I have another one of this, but I hope this comes back. This one is very hit or miss with a lot of people. I haven't smelled this, but I really like it on cold. And that's Ghostly Greetings. So I love myself like a deep, dark, musky scent. And that's exactly what this is. And then you get the combination of like dark berries mixed with this patchouli. I really like this. 
to me this is like a scent that i would smell going into like an incense shop or like a crystal shop a yoga studio like something like that like that's what i think of when i smell this and i really like that so i'm looking forward to seeing how this does on warm and last from scentsy i have autumn blaze maple so this was from the bring back my bar and it must have been maybe in january this past january going into february again haven't worn this but this is a beautiful like apple cider with maple type scent really like this all right that's done next we will move on to some rose girls that i see here so first i just have her plain apple fritter you guys her apple fritter is incredible super strong it has a beautiful cinnamon spice to it but it's it is a tad bit of the spicy cinnamon, but not overpowering. I think the juiciness of the apples kind of smooths that out a bit. I really, really like this. This is beautiful to blend with like, if you have like a sugar cookie scent or a pie crust, this is beautiful on its own and it's a really good blender for fall. Next, I have Cider Lane and Pretzel Day. So this is Cider Lane, Bath and Body Works type, peanut butter, pretzels, and cinnamon sugar. I don't get much peanut butter from this. To me, this is Cider Lane and pretzels mixed together, which I'm not complaining. I really like that. Next, I have Salted Caramel Frappe Kettle Corn. So this is Salted Caramel, Caramel Frappe, and Kettle Corn. So this, again, everything that it says on the notes, it's like you have a bucket of kettle corn and you drizzle some caramel syrup on top. I really like this. It was okay. It... The bag that I had that I warmed of this, it was like medium strength, but it was beautiful. Um, I think if it were any stronger, the caramel may be a little bit too much if it were like a strong, strong scent. So I love this for what it is. Next, I have a couple of from a couple more from L3. I have apple cinnamon zucchini bread, self-explanatory, beautiful fall scent. I like to mix that too with coffee. And this I've never warmed. This is Predator. So this is Leaves, Palo Santo, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. So this is like Pumpkin Pecan Waffles with like the spiciness of the leaves. It does have a little bit of the smoky scent, just the tad from the Palo Santo, but mainly it's a combo of Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and leaves. I never warm this, but I love the way it smells on cold. So we'll see about that this fall. You guys, I cannot believe I have so much that I didn't get through last year. Oh, okay, and last I have a stack of brittles from Sassy Girl Aroma that were not even touched and it's so embarrassing. <laughs> because I know when this fall comes around, a lot of vendors are gonna either re-release scents that I didn't get to buy last year or they're gonna come up with new ones and I'm gonna wanna try them all and I have no business buying any. This fall, my hair is annoying me, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm probably going to, so I might, I might end up starting to melt fall a little bit early this year, just so I can get a head start on some of this stuff. We'll see how the weather plays out so far. This June has been absolutely miserable. It's been gloomy, cloudy. I haven't had a single beach day yet, so I'm hoping that the weather turns around for the summer. If not, I probably will start melting full early. <laughs> All right, so first from Sassy Girl Aroma is pumpkin and cranberries. This brittle is just like full vibes 101. So this is tart cranberries and pumpkins fresh from the patch along with warm vanilla beans. So exactly what you would think. This is like cranberry, like, like you wanna bake a cranberry pie or a cranberry like little tart cup you put the little cranberry crushed up cranberries marmalade on top and then you get the freshness from the pumpkin i really like this it's very heavy on the cranberry so it is predominantly like a juice juicy cranberry with a little bit of pumpkin and spice in the background this is like typical fall for me i really like that next is the controversial pumpkin creamer i never warmed this when i first got this late last fall it was very very light on cold so i didn't even bother warming it i figured i would let it sit so this is a cozy creamy blend of cashew creamer pumpkin puree brown sugar and a sprinkle of nutmeg powder 
Let's see if this got stronger. Ooh, it definitely did. Wow. All right, so it's, I would say I got this maybe early November. So it's been a little over six months. This got very strong, wow. Um, so this is like a pumpkin puree with brown sugar. I don't get any like creamer from the cashew creamer. So it's like a pumpkin, like a, like a pumpkin spice puree with brown sugar. This is pretty. I'm hoping this doesn't disappoint on warm like it has for others, but you never know. You gotta be careful who you take advice from. Next is pumpkin parfait. So this is spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, flaky warm pastry, vanilla and whipped cream. Haven't warmed this, but you know, typical fall pumpkin spice apple scent, kind of basic, but I like that for fall. <laughs> Next is oath. So this can be considered summer or yeah, summer or fall, but like I mentioned, anything with roasted pine cones to me can can relate to fall. So it's toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, and then so that's her beach nights roasted with <laughs> roasted with you guys in such a freaking mess today. Blended with pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. Oath is one of my favorites from Sassy Girl Aroma. Any of her Beach Nights blends, as we all know and love, are fabulous. And then with the roasted pine cones, this is gorgeous. Next is Fall Yoga Pants by The Fire. Another fabulous fall blend by her. This is my second brittle. I went through one last fall. This is Cider Lane Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Marshmallow Fireside. So just three beautiful fall blends all together. Three dupes from Bath and Body Works. Three of the best fall holiday scents from Bath and Body Works all in one. So this was very clever of her to do that. And I absolutely love it. They all play beautifully together. Powerhouse thrower. I mean, this is gorgeous. Next is Halloween Night. I never got a chance to warm this last year. So I'm looking forward to doing this this year. This is Leaves, Bonfire Bliss, and Toasted Marshmallow. And then, oh my god, that's, I went through those pretty quick, but that's why I'm tripping over my words. Um, last I have here from Sassy Girl Aroma is Cider, Apple Cider Lane. So if I'm not mistaken, this is a dupe of Bath & Body Works' Cider Lane. So just a warm, gooey, caramel apple cider. This is double bagged and I could smell this opening the first bag without even opening the actual bag of the brittle. Oh, this is so freaking good, you guys. I love this candle so much. Like whenever fall comes around, I buy two or three of them and I go through them by the time fall ends. I absolutely love this. So I know this will be strong as well and I'm looking forward to warming that. So that, you guys, is everything the ridiculous amount of fall wax that i have left over from last year that i either bought duplicates of or that i just completely lost my crap and went overboard with buying so i'm looking forward to fall season this year i absolutely love fall and winter scents so i'm looking forward to when it finally comes time to start warming those sorts of scents i do enjoy summer scents but i'm not a huge fruity person so I'm looking forward to starting all of this when the weather becomes appropriate, but I want to encourage you all to share your fall collection, regardless of how big, how small. I think it's just so fun to see what everybody has that way when it comes time for vendors to start, you know, pouring fall scents, we can keep our eye out for some of them. Some of your favorites or recommendations, even though I have no business buying some, I know I have zero willpower and it's just inevitable, but I'm not going to tag anyone specific. I'm just going to put everyone to start doing this. That way, um, you know, you all could feel welcome to join in. Um, thank you again to Carson for tagging me in this video. I had so much fun going through my stash and having a huge wake up call of my impulse spending. But nonetheless, this was really enjoyable and I hope you guys enjoyed too. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and I'll chat with you guys in the comments. Bye.